What's up guys? Today we're going to show you how to change your fuel sending unit and your Kenworth or Peterbilt. They're pretty much all the same so you can do one, you can do them all. So let's dive into this. Alright guys, what we have here is a Kenworth T680 and the problem is the thing has got fuel in it and the sending unit shows that the truck is empty. So we've run some tests and we've narrowed it down and we know it is the fuel sending unit. And I'm at the driver's side tank, that's where it's located. And we're going to look up under here. and you can see where it's going to go right up there so what you have to do on this truck because of the side skirt you have to take all of these screws loose at the top and get that rubber piece out of your way and we'll show you how to do that in the meantime i'm going to show you the part and the part number there's your part number pack car part I think those are the same numbers. Yep. It's going to be the P5549-13714-24. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. But here is what it looks like. This is the part that's bolted to the top of your tank. And your plug goes in here. And here's your arm with your float on it. And when we get the other one out, we'll get a good close look at that. But it's not reading correctly, so there it is. So you see how it's made on the top. It's got a push-in plug with a lock connector that goes on top. All right, as you see, we've got the uh, that rubber plastic piece, whatever you want to call it, out of there. And that takes a T30 torch tip and a number two or three Phillips. Let's see which one you used here. Be a number two Phillips. Alright, I got my big glide under there where we can see and right there is the sending unit. It's gonna be hard show this on camera because of where it's located but we're going to do the best we can all right guys it's going to be a number two phillips and uh we got a little bit screwdriver ratchet using to get in there try to break them loose Here she is, out of the hole. We'll put it up here next to the new one. So, now we just reverse the steps and we'll put the new one back down in the hole, tighten up those five screws, plug her in, and we should have a fuel gauge again. All right, while Bill's got all of the five screws tightened back down, like I said, it's a number two Phillips. And we're gonna put a little dielectric grease on the plug before we plug it back up. And that will help eliminate problems down the road. I 
important is make sure when you plug it back in, your lock and tabs is secure. And then when we turn the key on, we should have a fuel reading. You ready to test it, Bill? Yes, sir. I got fight, don't you? I do. Well, let's just see here. Alrighty, right there's our fuel gauge, so look at there. Like a champ, just a touch over a half a tank. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Good job, Wild Bill. Alright guys, like I say, if you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe right down here below. Be sure to check out my truck fixing videos. We've got a lot of good stuff on there. That way you can save a pile of cash. You guys have a great one. Hopefully this helps. Click that subscribe button. See y'all.